Okay, sleeve. Let's see. Just gotta talk to that guy. So I tried to record the other day, but I had to uh, delete it because of uh, issues with the video. The town will meet its death at the hand of Simon's murderer. That much is certain. Um, Simon's dead, apparently. Uh, most vulnerable doctor is with the uh, impatient guy. Um, I'm respecting you. You know, I need to over to the business for us since our family is well acquainted with your ship. Um, we're quite aware that you have difficult, difficulties experiencing the, and we're prepared to, to help you. Here's me to be the one to inform you that Simon, my asshole brother, the um, creator, keeper, and body of falls around us, has been murdered. So, yeah, I was thinking about you told Simon, like, on the, no, no, second, uh, paragraph or whatever. Can't believe it. Cannot be. My asshole brother was murdered last night under strange circumstances. But for the mystery surrounding his death, I rather ensued the notion that his departure was connected with whoever visited Simon that evening. The visitors of men of laudable resitude and no friend of our family. Their witnesses testified that he and Simon did nothing but converse. It was the visitor. So you know quite well the man the other saw last night was your colleague Isidore Barak. Was he not the very person that advised you to come here as well? Yes. Hmm. Is Dora is dumb more than he thinks? I have a little feeling that time itself is using uncontestable powers to defer his own intentions. What do you think? Categories like time, nature, and fate the prime man this possibility of what goes on around him. I was taught to avoid this worldview. It would be that my mind is clouded by sorrow, but I cannot expect to get the feeling that your arrival is too much of a coincidence. Your choice was made for you, my dear doctor. Let's not blame fate for it. Isidore wrote to you without making us aware. He took a risk that could have displeased our family. Why use the word fate with such disgust? I prefer the word time. In a fatalistic sense of the notion, of course. So Simon wasn't aware I would come. Even though we were uncertain of when you would arrive, my brother was looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> Must really like me. Tragedy may have been a consequence of the actions he took in preparation for your arrival. Someone has taken a powerful piece from the chessboard, a piece upon which your position here is dependent. It is doubly regrettable that Simon was playing on your side. So you presume the queen knew of the blow and sacrificed sacrifice itself for a pawn, but why? To grant you victory over death was it not your ultimate aspiration to help you? Some seems to have played a very dangerous game with fate itself. He went out of his way to provide you with a body of evidence. What did he do? It is of no importance to me what exactly he did. He took another leap for the stars and paid a terrible price for it. I repeat, he was murdered. The subject of importance here is the identity of the murderer. Everything has gone to lack and ruin. Wish I could take vengeance upon the person who ripped me the life from this man. Do you want us to help us, doctor? Do you want to help us, doctor? Find the murderer for us. Uh, my brother Victor, who is in the wing next door, would share some of his thoughts on the matter. Help us, and the reward will not disappoint you. Indeed, it seems there are too many coincidences. I don't believe that shit. Uh, your brother's murder can just well be called the murder of Patrick Donetsky. Uh, eh. I 
I don't like it. I don't like either one. I think I picked different choices the first time uh, when I was playing this third day. Cause I don't remember making having those two choices. But I could be wrong. Let's go talk to that woman. They really like developers when they're. Here. I think I'm having fever heat. Okay. Yeah, the developers really love smashing mirrors in games. They don't want to, but they also make them dirty so you can't see yourself. Now listen closely. Time for collusion, secrets, and losses. I come. I am going to ask you something for you. I am not sure to that. I'm used to holding the reins, but you are not harnessed, so it would be unacceptable to address you in this matter. I find solace in the fact that my request will be welcomed with you. If it's a style of adventure, I don't like you. Eh, yeah, fuck you. Uh... I'm not an adventurer. My job is of no pincher. Hope it never becomes one. I apologize my words come across as mangled and silly. No, you just being a bitch. Um, I am truly not used to asking. By the nature of my request, demands complete and selfless humility. Just imagine me begging and kneeling. And believe me, I do feel that way. Now, they knew what did you want to talk about? Today's death was the first, but it won't be the last. Simon has opened the score of irreplaceable victims, saying their numbers will multiply. I beg you to preserve the lives of several people when, they're, when the lines of their fortune cross yours. For any of them dies, there will be a moment when you'll be able to intervene. I know that for a fact. How? I have vision. I'm clairvoyant. I will become the nocturnal queen soon. Oh, you, you just mug smile. You fucking bitch. Just like my blood sorceress mother used to be. Dreams lie. They do to you, bachelor, bachelor, but not to me. Or can you confidently confident pro promise me that the people I'm going to name to you will stay alive for the next two weeks? How can I promise you that? I won't be staying here for long, and I have, so I have no way of knowing what may happen in my absence. And do not judge what is true and what is not, celebrity doctor. I have never dream, seen a dream this clear before. The links of Gull's Taglur are bound to die, and we are bound to weep for the loss. You'll be the chief weeper. Why? I'm not that good at separating the interweaving lines of life, but my intuition is superb. Stay alert, bachelor. Watch the condemned extend their hands towards you, begging for your help. Will you deny it to them? They are essential for your victory. Everything happens. That doesn't matter. What was destined to happen, what happened? And you can be wherever you want to be, but not a coward, choosing to hear no evil and run away from reality. I'll give you a list of those I know of. Those people are bound to you. Bound. There are ties spring power within each of these people. Each of them can break the routine of human existence and become something greater. They are staying on the verge of their humanity, gazing into the realm of where they can serve a different, higher purpose without even knowing it. Moreover, they are bound to make the leap in one way or another. That's why we call them simply the Bound. When, how are these people supposed to die? Bound to die. No need to shy away from it. It is also implied. You did answer my question, Maria. How and when will they die? I don't know. I'm not a mistress yet. The future is not as clear to me as I prefer, but I can feel the present. I can already distinguish a dubious guess from the pulse of precise knowledge devoid of words and images. These people are bound to you. Their, their lives are connected. I wouldn't have asked you to take care of them otherwise. 
she just told you she's a clairvoyant dumbass. Are you... I unlocked the other one. <laughs> oh yes, you haven't been told, have you? It didn't even cross my mind that someone may be unaware of my abilities. No one here dares doubt them, for they are evident. Yes, the mistress of every world in house possesses special abilities. I am learning to see the future and transform the present. Forgive me, but I don't believe in this type of phenomenon. Will you comply with my request? Will you say the lies of the people I named for to you? Answer me before going back to Eva. All right, if it's really within my power, I'll do my best to save their lives. Gregory Kane, Victor Kane, which guy I got to meet next. Um, yeah, I don't remember these two. Maria's right in front of us. Eva, we met in the first episode, and I did not remember Mr. Smiley. Well, I remember his face, I don't remember his name. Mm. Okay, let's go meet the brother. Oh, yeah, I gotta talk to these guys. Stagehand? There's nothing particular we feel that urge to warn you about. When you speak to the bound, please hear your words carefully. Do not worry, you'll be, you will easily be able to make out what kind of person is standing before you and observe a man that you are. So use that skill when dealing with the bounds. Some of them are indeed worth insulting, whereas others need to be treated with the utmost respect. I have no idea what you're talking about. Every line you utter will have consequences. News spread rapidly around here. If you spoil your reputation in one place, you may you will have to reap what you have sown in another. Restore your good name in the south, and you receive a warmer welcome in the north. They will heed every word you say, and you'll be rewarded. Mm. Not by means of money, I hope. And for money. It's not a dialogue fee, don't get me wrong. They refuse to take s uh, small sums of money from the bound. That would not belittle you in any fashion, but would rather demonstrate that you appreciate the local customs. Alright, keep the local customs in mind. Alright, this guy, I think, represents death when he um, um, plays or something. Um, still like showing someone dying, they show like this is something like this. Uh, some town small and rather unexceptional, isn't it? And there are all kinds of people here, the simple folk and the more remarkable ones. The former will tell you more than they know, latter, the latter know way more than they'll ever, they'll, they're ever going to let out, keeping that close eye on them, your victory depends on it. And who are these remarkable people? There are 20 something of them, I think only got like a few names. Easily distinguished by their lodgings or their presence, they're called many names. The Bound, the Faded, the Errants, the Gobors, Tagurn, this town circle. Simon preferred their company to any other. Why? Because it is they that will decide the fate of this town. Don't be distracted by the fact that some of them look insignificant or dis disreputable. They will earn their worth. You just give them time. Still, the most important joints of the town. Why are you telling me this? Each day, one of them will try death by the tooth. Each will put their life at risk. Each one that dies is important. Some of them may take the keys to victory to the grave. Mind that the keys are yours while the grave is theirs. Others will do the opposite. Don't waste your chance to condemn someone who may get in your way. How do you know what's helpful and what gets in the way? Okay, okay, all right, Doctor. Dropping you more hands would be cheating. Shutting up now. Allow me to conclude then. Each bound will save you save will influence the finale of your adventure. Each of them has their own goals and motives. It may so happen that those who seek a different ending survive, then, well, you've been warned. Okay, I'll take that into account and we'll be careful. Mm, some dog barking. Got some money. Just randomly pick them up as I walk around. Oh, 
I don't think this conversation takes long. Perhaps Olgimsky is setting a trap for this newly arrived Haraspex. Yeah. Don't know the Haraspex. Oh yeah. I think the... I remember the name of the Haraspex. Um, it's like a brog or... I think Isidore's his dad or something. Or... Might be... Yeah, I think Isidore might be his dad's. Famous Dr. Denskinski. Your arrival is a great honor to us. Victor Kane at your service. Daniel Tukonski at yours. I foresee that the things that have come ordinary for us will probably make you feel uncomfortable or and disturbed. I would like to compensate you for that impression. You know our small community has fallen out of loop. Time leaves us behind. What do you mean? I mean the traditions. Games that we play with passion will most likely be of no interest to you. People we meet here may seem eccentric, naive, or even somewhat deranged. Please take it easy on this. Don't judge us too strictly. I would do my best not to disappoint you. Who is it walking upstairs? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, I hope you. Gregory has told me everything, which is to say he told me very little, but it was enough to astound me. Maintains that you can provide a more detailed account. So you have agreed to help us? I'm still thinking it over. In that case, I don't have the right to reveal details. If you change your mind, I'll prefer to answer. Oh, shit. I know. Shit, 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 shit. I thought I was, in, I was, I thought I was okay. Fuck me. I will agree to help him if I touch his face. Apparently. So yeah, this did not happen last time. However brilliant an action, it should not be esteemed great unless the result of a great motive. Who could possibly benefit from Simon's death? No one, that's the problem. Simon has no enemies. However, my brother Victor can shed some light on certain grim circumstances that have to do. How should I put this? It's some potential relationship my brother shared with several people. Mm, please leave mysticism aside. We have no choice but to resort to mysticism. There are patterns of a kind that cannot rationally explain. They are woven into the very fabric of our existence. And if they were veins and we were flesh, this may be an affront to your intelligence, but I cannot help you with that. There are a lot of things about this place that are very likely to, f to find discouraging. Fine, let's leave that subject. I want to know details, the facts. My brother Victor will see you in the other wing of the house. He will also di discuss a reward with you. I need no reward. This situation is my direct concern. I want to recover the truth and I'm willing, willing to begin an investigation. There we go. This brother Gregory's brother take the empty throne of the clans leader. The Kings are obsessed with the idea of finding the murderer. They don't seem to be driven by rancor, but rather by the desire to uncover a mystery. This is where Victor lives, the youngest of the three King brothers. He can tell me more about Simon's manner, manner of death. Okay. There we go. Fuck you, Gregory and Victor. I wasted too much time. I wasted some time, but to me it's a, kind of a lot. Because I've done this faster last time. Yeah, yeah, sip. I fear that Simon's death is a symbolic event. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. 
I can help you, Grigor's telling me everything. We say Tony Lowe is telling me. Maintains he can provide me more detailed account. So you agreed to help us? I have. Maskawa. We share a tragedy. I want exact vengeance upon the one that robbed me in my work of the future. I'm prepared to answer any questions you may have. When was Simon last seen? He sent his door home. Then an hour later, he came to all the Greedas. He announced his plans to withdraw to the focus and receive no one. He told us not to approach the focus and to fast for a week, partaking of neither meat nor water. Then in the morning, he was found dead. Uh, why no meat or water? Our explanation is that he wanted to be mourned beforehand, as is the custom with the local people. It is very like him. So he knew in advance that he would die. I think between me and you, that is precisely why my brother Gregory fears. I can say nothing more than that. How is his body discovered? The servants discover him in the morning. The room had been had been ransacked. Everything is, that was breakable had been broken. His disfigured, contorted body bore signs of terrible suffering. His neck was twisted, his spine broken. I think no such body is currently inside the focus and remained there for the prescribed amount of time. Um, what's this focus place? It's hard to explain. It's a study, if you will. In an extraordinary, spacious, creative laboratory, almost perfectly sealed off, except for the door that was visible at all times, metaphorically speaking. I don't understand. It's like an equation or a mirror puzzle. Anyway, the murderer could not have been hiding there. Take my word for it. Well, Simon dig in there somehow. He could perform far more impressive feats. There's a reason why the whole town reversed, I mean, revered him. Alright, so how can I help you? Just take a look around, trust your intuition, do whatever you like, speak to whoever you feel the need to, look for a murderer, doctor, and you will find him. Keep looking to the last breath. I'm sure you, your rational thinking will help you. So his door is the only way I can find him. I'll show you, but you must be careful. Simon's murderer, wherever they are, could not be an ordinary person. I can't imagine them even being a person. I fear it could only be fate wearing the guise of a mysterious monster. I don't believe in fate. See, this is where Isidore Brock lives, the man that brought me to this remote place. He's the last person that saw Simon Kane alive. I think, yeah, I think Brock is uh, also the name of the Harlow Specs, and that's his, like, Isidore's like his father or something. Okay. Mm. Guess I'll go see her. Anything I do for you? No, thank you. Some of these houses look, um, nice. Move the fuck out of the way. We sometimes differ more widely from ourselves than we do from others. That ominous singing outside the window is gnawing at me. Who could be singing at a time like this? Very little time has passed and I feel hungry and exhausted again. Mm. I can't hear anything. Fuck. I've seen the angel of death by the window. Very little time has passed. I feel hungry and exhausted again. Since you decide about death, you'll be you'll have to be very careful. It's September, you will be dying with every breath of our air. We are all dying with every second of our life. Exactly this annoying phenomenon that I challenged, but since you heard of the fanatic fanatic cause achievements, I'm not gonna waste your time monologuing. You got me wrong, you'll be dying here much faster than in the capital. Your body's wasting weight just as fast as a boat sinks with its hull full of water. Breathe in, is there? Can you feel it? But why? 
This step ha is full of various herbs. They are filled with dizzying vapors, white whip, cherry, Severi are dangerous in August and September when herbs surrender their juices to the sun. People tend to get headaches this time of year. Heart sufferers lie in bed with pains. My heart aches too. How do people live here? Chihuahua is a rare herb, so usually it's bearable, but this year is unbelievable plentiful. The elderly say that this phenomenon, nothing like this has happened before. They think it's a bad omen. Well, I don't believe that, but the air is droning. Can you feel it? Don't you feel dizzy? Yes, the air is heavy. You need to sleep often. Never go hungry. Drink more water. You need to look after yourself properly. If you feel sick, forget everything else and get some rest. Otherwise, you may die of a heart attack or bleeding. Be careful, alright? This is how they explain like stats uh, drain faster in this game. Which I kind of like the way they explain the shit. Um. The more I think and do, the faster I die. That symbol is in Fiverr's lot. Okay. Done talking to her. Let's go meet his door, Brock. Mm hmm. Let's go to this thing right here, investigate it. Yeah, I want to, um, playing this game, I want to, uh, ransack, uh, trash bins and wherever I've come across. Um, cross this bridge. Okay, so, hopefully I'll avoid the same mistake as last time and, uh, end up right here because I have to go round. It's like a pop or something, and, uh, I can't go over it or under it. Which is like shit. Ah, it's you. Mars crime from poor children. How are deer stealing? Is everything alright? Oh, women share hard, is hard. You got curious town here, and they're expected to see something like this in such a remote place. Everyone's tired of the endless construction work. We want some quiet. Is there a lot of construction going on? Not a lot, but I cannot shrug away the feeling that the world is changing all too quickly. The rulers invite architects from the capital, and they turn everything upside down. It's fun for children, but torn it for us. Sorry to hear that. Hmm. I think last time I ended up going to a few shops and bonds and stuff, but I'm going to try to avoid doing that. Cause I was buying stuff cause in case like the prices increase next day or something. More money, more water bottles, which I definitely want to do. Uh. Oh shit. Yeah, these are the letters I should have. Okay, so I'm a little exhausted, my immunity, a little hungry. Okay. Yeah, shit, wait, which way am I going?
people almost think I'm crazy going to the garbage bins and grabbing their bottles. Hello, sir. Mm. Okay, going to have to keep continuing forward and make a left. That same guy again. Or same model. Oh, uh, is he sick? You okay, sir? Anything I do for you? Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, I can't tell if they're sick or something. I don't remember them doing that last time. Yeah, I'm away. She's gonna say the same things that her person in the same mall as her. I think she heard me. Make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, going to make a ride in a bit. Yeah, place has not seen better days. And that says to it pop. Fuck you, pop. Mm. Continue for here. I think last time I went down this way and stopped the recording. Uh, it's the back. Uh, razor blade, that's good. Not exactly looking for gems. What the fuck was this? He's trying to pee or something. Mm, okay, I'm almost there. Okay, is this it? Yep, looking right at it. Oh boy, this looks like good news. A foul murder occurred here to not no authorization is allowed, expecting the crime scene strictly forbidden until further notice. He was killed. Well, you're not local, sir, so you're unlikely to understand the loss we have suffered. Isidore Brock, a great surgeon, a benefactor to us all, and an all-round skilled doc. An outstanding man, beloved and well-respected to by us local, does it really always have to take the very best? What a foul time to live in. I knew him. I'm a doctor, too. Whoever killed our only doc must surely 
be looking to kill us all, get us all killed. His daughter could cure anything. He also knew how to make cuts and decisions because he was a warden. He knew his lines all right. Like I said, it all makes sense. Whoever killed Simon took his daughter's life too. This is merely the beginning. What makes you think the two cases are connected? Well, uh, you could have the heart to attack such men. If you had asked me yesterday, I would have told you no one would dare inflict such an ugly wound on this town. But if there's someone, it has to be just that someone. Although it looks fishy, if you ask me, that thing was no man. That's why I think. Explain yourself. See, this murder deal is all mysterious. There, are, there was a talon stuck in the victim's chest. Go ahead and bend your arm at the elbow, good sir. Yeah, like that. There you go. That's how long it was. It broke off. There was dust on the floor for the deceased had been a renowned step walker. The dust was all covered in hoof steps and like traces of a sharp bone, I guess. And if, as if someone's using a walking stick around here, I'm telling you, it's her. The Shabnak idea, the clay man-eater. I want to inspect the building. We've been assigned uh, his post by Alexander, the head of the Saburov family. His house is in decline right now, but it's still powerful and very well, much respected. For it is they that's been responsible for maintaining word, uh, word, wordly order and public safety in the town since olden days. And please kindly address your concerns to him. There's, there's their rod. You just take that road um, up there and get to the cape. As for me, I'm not authorized to let you in. She has said so. He, I figure he... Bachelor, you're a dumbass. So let's go back to here. The raw, the Saburals have been living here since the town was founded. Once a mighty and powerful clan, it is only has two persons now. A governor devoid of any real authority and his dying wife. How do you know about dying wife, sir? Bachelor, you have magical powers in knowing all this. Oh shit, there's a fire. What's this? Oh boy. Oh boy. That woman's on fire. Actually, forgotten about this scene. Oh yeah, that thinks the clay man eater. Remember how that guards and the woman disappeared? Wait, wait, wait! Come back, your assholes! Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, what have you done? How is it? That was no shot knock. That was a girl, a living girl. Yeah, that guy, the car we saw earlier, he said, Look, I, if you asked me yesterday, no one would hurt a soul here. And then they just fucking murder someone. That's just a mob. Hope you, you'll find yourself in her place as soon as, as today. Fucking assholes, I swear. Ooh, a gun. Meanwhile, I'm robbing corpses. And that. Oh, I thought she was staring at me. Mmm. Guess I followed the mob. Murders. See what's in here. Needle. 
Mazes. Okay. Go this way. And I think I'll end the recording right here for today. Hang on before I do that. Uh, letter. Is there a Brock's message? My dear Bachelor Davinsky is most discouraged to learn that the powers that have, that be who will be have the intention of shutting down the torch. Research and wait a second, wait. Okay, I just wanna make sure some I'm research in the field of then then ontology. It is true that your detectors have branded your studies scientifically stillborn. Rejoice, Bachelor, for there is an observable case that would quell the obscurance that reject the research of death, aging, and necrosis as a subject that lacks academic viability. This case where you did document would go a long way towards restoring your reputation as a scholar. The subject in question is Simon Cain, who has ruled the town where I lived I live for as long as I can remember. The man's longevity transcends, transcends the boundaries of what is possible. It is a phenomenon, no less, and I struggle to give an explanation of it with what scientific, scientific <laughs> means I have at my disposal. Make no delay. There is a sensational discovery to, made, to be made here, a breakthrough that will not only save your laboratory, but also rectify uh, your, revivify your studies and greatly increase your scientific renown. Your humble servant and faithful colleague is Dor Brock. P.S. I spoke to Simon on your behalf and he has kindly agreed to feel, facilitate your effort. Daring ideas and far-fetched projects are traditionally very well respected in our neck of the woods. There you go. So see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.